Hey guys, hope you're doing okay. So uh, I was just minding my own business the other day and I got a eBay notification and I have these notifications set up on eBay for like old digi boxes, radio stuff that, you know, blasts from the past that I'm hoping to find. And uh, I have an alert for Toshiba on digital and usually it's just a load of nonsense. It's like old DVD players, old remote controls, that kind of thing. So imagine my surprise when uh, I'm online and uh, I click this notification to find a Toshiba on digital box for sale on eBay and it's the real deal. And here it is. I mean, it's still in its original packaging, which is quite cool. I mean, obviously it's got parcel tape over it, but this box is a bit of a unicorn. Like, you know, I'd never, there's some, there's a low res photo of it if you search on Google, but to actually get the chance to see it. So um, I'm going to unbox it now. And this is the first time um, I've not done this. I've not had a quick look or anything like that. I'm literally just going to unbox it now in front of you. Um, yeah, see how easy this is to do one-handed. Right, let's see what we've got inside. But I'm really excited because only a few hundred of these boxes were made. Um, and like I say, it is somewhat something of a unicorn. Try not to cut myself with this knife. <clears throat> right, so let's see what we've got. Well, there we go. Look where I've bought it from. So here's something I never told. I pay, oh gosh, sorry about that. I paid fifty pounds for this. It was a buy it now on eBay, and um, it's a lot of money for something that doesn't work. But you know, you, you watch this channel, right? You know me. You know this is. I've got to complete the collection of on digital boxes. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what we've got inside. So. So here's the box. Wow. I mean, it's got a couple of dings on it, but this is a lovely box. It's got a viewing card flap. How do I open that? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's not hinged or anything. It just slides out. Look at that. It's even got a viewing card inside it. That's pretty cool. So it looks like someone's used this. We've got a, a reset button there on the side there. So like I said, it's not hinged or anything. It's just a clicky job. That's quite cool. We've got our on button there. Um, you can just make it out there. This says on and standby there. So I'm assuming there's a little LED there. Um, it says standby there, but I don't know what that is. Online, I guess that's for when it's online. You've got your uh, your little seven segment display there, which obviously was standard for all boxes. Info, menu, up, down, left, right, and select. If we just spin the box around, this is very exciting. It's kind of like, I'd say, a similar size to the other boxes. Oh, that's a negative, a hardwired plug, but then given how rare this box is, I guess I'll have to let that slide, won't I? So we've got aerial input there. Mm, not too sure how to get the common interface cover out, but that's that there anyway. Serial. Now, I don't think these boxes supported on mail um, or online pay-per-view ordering or anything like that. Um, but nevertheless, all the boxes had the serial. Uh, aerial out, two scarts. Telephone socket. Sorry, yeah. The serial was for the on mail remote, wasn't it? They're obviously, any online ordering and all emails would be done uh, through there. But obviously, like I say, as far as I know, for the Toshiba box has never supported that. Um, and then from the other side, yeah. So, God, it's got a bit of weight to it, this box, but it does look very sleek. I mean, to have got this in, what, 98, 99? Wow. That's pretty decent looking. Should we see what else is in the box? So I guess lots of paper from the eBay seller there. I suppose this would have had polystyrene in it or something. Plugs wrapped up in bubble wrap there. Mm, some sort of documents there. We'll come back to that. 
So yeah, you've got your extension cable there for the modem. The actual telephone cable itself. Yeah, you've got to remember in the old days, people used to have the telephone points in the hallway, didn't they? What on earth is this? This is like a TV bracket. I mean, I think someone's just put that in there. Obviously the, the box wouldn't have come with that. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. The remote control there. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's got a nice feel to it. You've got your subtitle button there, which is quite good. Teletext, widescreen button, DV controls there. So yeah, that's pretty decent. RF cable, trusty SCART cable, of course. Right, should we see what's in the document packet? So you're seeing this the first time I'm seeing it. Wow, manual. God, this has seen better days. Um, I might just open a couple of random pages just because of how creased up it is, but. I mean, this is fairly typical for, you know, like the graphics, obviously there's gonna be the same on all the boxes, but you know, the kind of instructions on that. Interesting way it's been bound there. Hmm. <clears throat> how to switch on in one easy go. Oh, so this is like a quick start guide. That's cool. And I think it folds outwards. Oh yeah, look, that's where the viewing card would come from. I'd forgot about these. I'd forgot about these actually. Yeah. Nothing really wrong with this. It's just obviously it's been squished. So the paper's gone all funny. Now this is interesting. Fourth draft. Use this manual in preference to the one in the box, RD. Hmm. That's really interesting. It says draft up there. Yeah, I wonder what the story of this box is. I mean, this is being photocopied or, you've got to remember like, if this is 1999, 25 years ago, obviously, you know, scanners weren't the same that they are now. I mean, this to me looks like it's been scanned. I don't think it would have been printed this rough. I'm gonna to have to go and have a look and see uh, what's different. But yeah, this is interesting. Is it double-sided? Hmm, only on the last page, weird. Or is it double-sided or they just spun the page around on the last page? I uh, just spun it around. That's really interesting, that is. I'd love to know <coughs> what the story of this box uh, is. Um, because certainly in the old days, we never really downloaded manuals the way that we do now. I mean, what a great remote control is on that. I mean, you see my Sky video. That's This is a really nice feeling remote control. It's quite large. Um, wow. Yeah, that's good, that is. Well, I've got a couple of free mounting brackets, so there's that. But I mean, yeah. Look at that. What a box. So this is, anyway, this is my actual, I suppose you'd call this a reaction video. But wow. Yeah, that, that's made me very happy. So, um. Thanks for watching this video with me. Um, I might give it a plug in later on and see um, see what's going on. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy. And thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this Toshiba DTB 2000 box, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.